Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Mark Schaefer, who is a globally recognized consultant, a keynote speaker, and the best-selling author of nine books now, including his latest, which is called Cumulative Advantage, How to Build Momentum for Your Ideas, Your Business, and Life Against All Odds. So, Mark, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And just out of interest for those people who aren't familiar with you yet, whereabouts are you based in the world? I am based in America. I'm based in, in the mid-Atlantic state of Tennessee and uh, enjoying a beautiful fall right now. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And I just want to share one small last thing about you before we do get started. So Mark has worked in global sales and PR and in marketing positions for more than 30 years and now provides consulting services. He specializes in marketing strategy and social media workshops, and some of his clients include brands such as Adidas, Cisco, Dell, Pfizer, the US Air Force, and even the UK government. And the title for today's episode is all about momentum and cumulative advantage, and Mark is going to show us or talk about this in just seven minutes. So, Mark, question number one for you today is when you think of this area of research you, you've been doing, who is the target audience that you typically aim this at? Well, what I found is that, uh, you know, I only write a book whenever I see a problem that I that I can't really solve. Understand, <laughs> and yeah. I, I go down this dark uh, rabbit hole and I get obsessed with something. And the problem is this time is that people really are having a harder and harder time being seen and standing out in this world. Yeah. And maybe they're even doing great work, maybe even excellent work, and they're still being buried. And so as a consultant and as a teacher, I just can't sit back and say, oh, well, life is hard right now. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go take a nap. Uh, you know, I want to figure it out. Like, what are the options? And that led me to write this book, Cumulative Advantage. So this book is really for anyone who's an entrepreneur, who has a business, or even just has ideas they want to have shared with the world. How do you get that those ideas to be seen, heard, and discovered in the world? Great. I love it. So yeah, entrepreneurs, experts, business owners. And when you think of them, when you wrote this book, what would you say is the number one challenge that they typically face when it comes to this area? Well, the problem is, is just sheer volume, Tom. Yeah. Um, you know, um, if you look at uh, any statistics about the number of podcasts that are being launched, the number of you know blog posts that are being written, the number of videos being uploaded to YouTube, and then you look at, at all the new streaming services that have come online, and make no mistake, those are all competing for our attention. So it's harder and harder and harder to earn that attention and earn an audience. And that's that's the problem that we all face as business owners and entrepreneurs. Yeah, it make, makes complete sense. And I absolutely recognize that through some of the work that I do as well. So I guess the buried entrepreneur, you know, the hidden expert, what impacts would that have on, on them personally or even on their business? Well, for most businesses, it's really everything because you don't really have a business unless you have customers and you don't have customers unless they're aware of you. So I think we have to, it's time for a wake up call about how the world really works today, how marketing really works today. I think the big problem a lot of businesses fall into is they do a little bit better this year than they did last year on their SEO or their Facebook ads. But meanwhile, our customer has taken a quantum leap away from us. And yeah. we have to like reimagine marketing based on the new relationship they want with us. Uh, that, that you know the way marketing worked three or five years ago doesn't work today. So it's time for a wake up call. Great, and you've absolutely identified a huge problem that we've, we we can see in this industry. So, given that, if somebody's listening to this episode and they're resonating with that challenge, what's that one piece of advice that you might give them, or at least a nugget of information, just to get them started in the right direction? Well, I think one very, very simple uh, piece of advice around marketing today is to number one, stop doing what people hate. So if you are spamming people, interrupting people, intercepting people, if you're filling their mailbox with direct mail pieces that they don't want, you got to stop. 
And you have to think about what, where are our customers? How do we create unique value to them? What is the problem we solve for them? Come alongside them at their point of need instead of disrupting them and disturbing them. Do what people love. Be more human in every, in every customer touch point. Great. And, and just one more question just to build off, off that is, how, how's the best way as a business owner to find out where our customers are, what they want, how to get alongside them? Is, is it by asking them? Yeah, and I think, Tom, so many businesses don't do that anymore, especially in the era of social media, where we count on following little breadcrumbs on social media and say, oh, you know, this customer said this or this customer said that. And that is just a very small fraction of what's really going on out there. When I work with a client, the first thing I do is try to go out and visit customers and just mm-hmm. see how they work. What do they love? What do they hate? What are our competitors doing? Yeah. If I can't visit them, maybe I'll talk to them on the phone. That's where the truth is. That's where the truth really lies about where we need to be with our customers. We need to ask them. Yeah, great. I love it. And therefore, for people who do want to take that next step and really put this into practice in their business, what resource or what can you share with them to help them get started on this journey? Well, uh, a lot of people have really loved uh, my last two books that kind of go together. One is Marketing Rebellion, which is this wake up call that I'm talking about to say, you know, marketing just doesn't work the way that it used to. And then Cumulative Advantage is about building momentum. If you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling buried and ignored, how do we get momentum to go to that next level? And the thing, both of these books are really books of hope. There's yeah. nothing in these books that, are, that aren't accessible and actionable by everyone. You don't have to have a big college degree or a million dollars in the bank. It, these, these are both books of, of good you know, practices and hope. Excellent. And I've got a link here, which is businessgrow.com forward slash cumulative hyphen advantage. And what it is, I'll post a link in the show notes so people can click on that and they can go in. And I think there's a free um, chapter of your book as well. Yeah, there? there is. Actually, it's businesses, plural, businessesgrow.com. Businessesgrow.com. Absolutely. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. I'll put that into the show notes. People can click on that and they can go and download that free chapter. Awesome. So quick question then about yourself. Obviously, Mark, you've worked with lots of different businesses. You've been on a long journey in business. What would you say is one of your greatest either learnings, mistakes or failures you've made? And what did you learn from it? You know, it's funny. I, I get that question a lot. And uh, actually, I got this that question this morning yeah. <laughs> in another show. And honestly, I don't really beat myself up too much about the mistakes that I made because, you know, I mean, I've, the, the biggest mistakes I've learned taught me something about myself and, yeah. and either my limits or my opportunities. And so the mistakes I've made really brought me to where I am today. I wouldn't be here talking to you if I hadn't learned from the mistakes that I made. So, I mean, really, I don't have any regrets. I'm, I, I've certainly right. made mistakes, but everybody does. And, you know, I've never made a mistake so big that I can't dig myself out yeah. of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think that's the key to progress. It is. And like I said, mistakes and challenges, they create awareness for us to focus on yeah. particular parts of our, our business operations, which we can enhance. Yeah. Great. And the last question from me today, and um, we're already getting such great value, but what is the one question I should have asked you that will also bring some great value to our audience? Well, I think um, the, the thing that I'm most passionate about is this idea of how we need to be more human centered in our, in our marketing. And so the question would be, how does marketing really work today? I think Tom, we're going to like maybe 50 years from now, we're going to look back at at history. We're going to say, what was all that advertising stuff about, yeah. right? Because before advertising, we bought from people that we knew. We mm-hmm. still yeah. want to do that. We still want to do that. And I think the in the future, the personal brand, how we're known, how we come across as a person, that's really going to be the brand. That is really going to be the marketing. And that human connection in business, uh, I think it's, it's going through a renaissance right now. And I think that's really where the future lies. Yeah, I I completely agree. And podcasting, like you said, is getting swamped at the minute, but it is a great way for you to get yourself and your message out there in person and connect with new audiences. 
So, Mark, I wanted to thank you again so much for your time today for bringing such great value to our audience in such a short amount of time. Yeah, really appreciate you being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Tom.